Well, it's great to see you. And thanks for being here to practice. I have a cushion with me on the mat if you wanna grab a prop that can be used in some of the poses. Um, we're just gonna begin sitting in a meditation position today. If there's a little wiggle or movement that helps you to sit comfortably, go right ahead and ease into this sitting position. Let your facial muscles relax. Lift eyebrows a little bit, softening your forehead and scalp. Relax behind your ear. Relax the sides of the neck as the shoulders release with gravity gently. For a meditation mudra, connect thumb and index finger while your hands rest in your lap. We'll begin by centering with a heart opening breath. Place your attention in the center of your chest, right between your shoulders, maybe a little bit below. In the yogic sense, the spiritual heart center is radiating in the center of the chest and it is the source of consciousness. It is the source of love. And there's a wonderful practice. It's from the Vigyana Bhairava, which is a, an ancient text um, from the yogic tradition. So while your attention is here in your heart, um, I'll just invite you to visualize and feel. You think about something in your life or someone in your life that brings you great joy. And notice the welling up, how this joy feels. Maybe it's warm or radiant. Maybe it is fragrant, whatever it is for you, just taking a moment to be in the light of this joy. And as a spiritual practice, you consider where does the joy come from? Where is this joy taking place? And that begins this inward movement at where we we're seeking and we discover there's a, a deep internal well that is in our own heart. And we'll just take a moment to be in the heart space. And if that catalyst helps you, you think of that, that person or that part of your life that sparks joy and and then just dive in, like you just trace it down to the root of the joy. Where is, where is it coming from? And really investigate. A mission of discovery inside of yourself. Let your physical body relax all around the heart center. Breathe gently and allow the joy, allow the radiance to grow. You may feel it expand beyond the edges of your body.
and this very internal, very awake state of mind is so nourishing. So we'll just take another minute sitting quietly, being in the heart space, feeling a gentle expansion beyond the body. Slowly open eyes. If you would like to change out your leg position, we'll do a flow from um, the sitting posture. For Robin's breath, hands together at heart center. Deep breath in. Breathe out, reach arms forward like an arrow, drop chin and round your back. Inhale, wings open, heart up. Exhale, hands like the arrow, chin to chest. Inhale, hands to heart center, sitting tall. One round and then we'll dive in. Exhale, forward. Inhale, arms wide. Exhale, hands together like the arrow shape. Inhale, pull hands to heart center. Discover the cat and cow quality all the way down into your low back and pelvis moving with your breath. We'll stay on that cycle. Breath opens through the back body, through the front ribs. Enjoy one more full round. And the next time your hands are together at your heart, just pause and feel the effect. <coughs> Find your way out into table pose, hands and knees. Let's stretch out our wrists and our feet. So curl toes under, shift hips back, move side to side to get under all your toes. And also kind of grip your toes a little bit onto the mat. Yeah, same idea for your hands. Shift shoulders forward, grip lightly with pads of fingers as you shift your weight side to side. Yeah, another moment for feet, deep breathing. Arch of the foot corresponds to our internal organs. So just bringing a little awareness with your breath. Shift and stretch out your wrists. And then we have a little play time in this position. If there's movements you wanna experiment with, take a circular or spiral shape. With toes curled under, jackknife your hips back into down dog. Walk things out. I always need a little extra space between wrists and toes, moving from table to downward dog. Pendulum your neck and enjoy your breath in this inversion. Shrug and unshrug your shoulders to find the middle ground where the neck can relax and shoulders are strong. Lengthen out into plank, take your breath all the way in and just take your time. Exhale back into downward dog. And we'll just glide forward and back. Always wanna offer, um, if it's a lot on your wrists, 
go ahead and bring elbows to the mat and just the same flow. That would just be a forearm plank back to a forearm dolphin. Take two more rounds and building your warmth and your focus. Nice job. Tap knees on the mat and relax into child's pose. Balasana. It may feel right to shift side to side, shift into one knee and then the other. Sometimes that movement can be jiggly in a nice way. Like you're kind of jiggling a rope, like your spine and you just let the rope uh, wave side to side. Rise up for table, send your right leg out to the side. And I'll just turn so you can see a view of my pose, but you to decide if you want to turn too. Shift your weight forward and back. Now we're opening up the inner thigh. For thread the needle, shoulders are above the wrists, reach the right arm up, exhale, dive under. And we'll just stay in motion like this. Inhale out and up, exhale down, like you're reaching under the bed. And take two more rounds. Steady movement in and out. Stay in the pose the next time you're down. So you may stop on your elbow or drop to the shoulder. Left arm could reach straight ahead, kind of like downward dog physics. Left hand could also press the palm down in front of your face to help you twist. One more full breath here. Untwist, hands in table, change out your legs. Left leg out. Start with that movement forward and back, opening up inner thigh and hip. Sometimes even a little like cat and cow, moving your pelvis into tuck and tilt feels really good here. For thread the needle, left arm out and up, breathe in, exhale, dive under and just get into your flow. Match the pace of your movement to the pace of your breath. Nice job, let's hold that pose. Drop either to your elbow or to your shoulder. As always, uh, choose a variation of the pose that is breathable. Sometimes if you're stretched right to the limit, there's sort of a, it's like a rubber band that could snap kind of feeling. So there's always room to find that soft side of your edge. Finish the exhale in the pose. Inhale, walk up into table. Nice. Send both legs back, plank pose, breathe in. As you exhale, let's run into mountain climbers. So we're gonna take elbow to knee or reverse that. <laughs> we're taking knee to elbow. Same idea as the previous plank. If wrists are sensitive, you can take the movement down on your forearms. Try for minimal offset in your hips and shoulders. So less sway will be more core strengthening. Let's count down from 10, nine, open heart, seven, six, five, smiling, three, two, one. Press yourself back, down dog, and standing forward fold. Walk feet to hands. 
hold hands on opposite elbows and get a, get some hang time. Your choice to be still or sway side to side. Anchor your feet as you rise up. Sweep arms high, breathing in. Exhale, hands together at heart center. Take a moment to find your mountain pose. Arms long by your side. Breath flow through abdomen. And maybe you even feel it down into your pelvis and legs. Find the heart center. And as we move through our practice, just an invitation to rekindle this connection to your heart. As we take a sun salutation, I'm gonna have us do a little bit different spinal movement into forward fold. So if you just wanna see, um, a lot of times we do, there's the swan dive where we have long spine. Um, this time I'm gonna have you tuck your chin and really like articulate your spine down. So, so you know what's coming. <laughs> Reach your arms up, breathe in. Exhale, chair pose, have a seat. <laughs> Inhale, straight legs, stand up. Exhale, hands together and dive. So here's the rounding of your spine all the way down. Yeah, nice. Open heart standing up, long spine, arms high. Exhale, sit into chair. Yeah, inhale, straight legs. Exhale, chin to chest, dive down. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach arms high, open your heart. One more cycle, exhale, chair. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, dive down, curl your spine using your core. Touch the mat, walk yourself back into plank. Deep breath in, on knees or toes, exhale, float down. Inhale, take a back bend. Exhale, forehead to the floor. A few more moments moving through your cobra or another back bend of your choice. We'll hold the back bend, take arms out like the letter W, bring shoulder blades closer together, and just the strength of your back lifts your body. Feel the movement of your breath like a buoy on the ocean. You're floating on your breath. Nice job. One more inhale in the back bend. Exhale, press hands and come back to down dog. Inhale, walk or hop to hands. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, arms wide as you stand up. Exhale, hands to heart. Center with your breath. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, chair pose, sit down. Staying in chair, bring arms out like that arrow shape, palms together. When you exhale, sweep right arm down and back into twist. Inhale, drop arm forward and face center. Exhale, other side. So just following your breath, there can be this kind of pulsing movement with your knees that brings you in and out of the twist. When right arm reaches back, let's hold in this shape. Expand your collarbones, W your arms in this shape and see what that does for your shoulders and neck. Yeah, in touch with your heart center. 
Nice, just drop your arms, straighten your legs, reach up. Exhale, down into chair, left arm back for twist. Again, holding as you breathe. Opening wide, collarbones, neck, shoulders. And then that little W in your elbows. We'll see what that does for your pose. Turning heart to the side while belly turns to your right. Yeah, straight legs, untwist, arms up. Exhale, curl your spine as you lower into forward fold. Touch the mat. And we've got this moment for your own flow or if you'd like to take a resting pose. Totally up to you. Full breaths. Find your way to downward dog. Send right leg back for three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest in plank. And we'll stay on that flow. Three-legged dog, breathing in. Exhale, curl forward. Last round, we're gonna freeze the pose with knee to chest, enjoying your strength in what is an awkward position. <laughs> Lift right hip two inches from the floor. Yeah, come more onto left tippy toes so your hips get higher and see if you have even more clearance to come into lunge. Right foot steps flat. Here's a moment if you'd like to take movements or adjust your foot position for lunge. Warrior one, set your back foot a couple inches forward, anchor that heel and rise up. Arms high. Exhale, W your arms. Turn your palms to face the sky. As we hold the pose, feel your heart center opening wide. With the arms, there's like a funnel shape where you can receive nourishment into your heart center. One more breath in, exhale, touch the mat. Step back, downward dog, and a centering breath to arrive. With inhale, left leg back, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest in plank. Yeah, and on that cycle, follow with your breath. Same pace, moving in and out of the pose. As knee comes toward chest, let's pause and strengthen. More cat back, get higher on your back tippy toes. Raise your left hip just a little bit. Yeah, another moment in the strength and then get set up for lunge. Plant your left foot. Hopefully that was worth it. I always find that the Step through gets easier with that setup. Yeah, let's juice into the lunge if you wanna warm up your hip. Warrior one feet, Virabhadrasana one as you rise up. Arms high, exhale, warrior one, W the arms. A sense of lightness, heart radiates. So energy of heart is unbound by physical dimension. And you can really take some time just to be in the, there's a wonderful phrase, which is the heart sky. That was said by Nityananda, a, one, a great, great yogic saint. The heart as clear and expansive as the sky. Yeah, one more breath in. Exhale, touch the mat. Your choice for a flow or a resting pose. Or a drink of water. <laughs> Mm 
Nice. From downward dog, send right leg back and up, three-legged. Exhale, knee to left elbow, curling into a twist. Yeah. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, knee to left elbow. And we're going to hold in this shape. So the challenge here, we're going to tick-tock knee to left elbow, knee to right elbow. Yeah. And if you would like to raise your right knee further outside the right elbow, that is an option. Nice. <laughs> Building heat. Set up your lunge when you're ready. Warrior one foot position. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, W your elbows. Wherever you are, just extend your elbows. So arms go straight. Open up your palm. If you're like me and you do a lot of work with your hands, this is a really good wrist stretch. Yeah, anchor into both feet. Drop your arms and just swing them a little bit. They could swing together or swing in different directions. For the pyramid, I walk the back foot in just a bit. Front leg straight, hands behind your back. Lift up your heart, breathe in all the way. Exhale, fold forward. So legs are straight without locking knees. So a little pliability. This helps to strengthen muscles and reduce strain on joints. Use the wave of your breath to open up your spine on the inside, making it longer. Nice job. Bend the front knee, drop your hands. Adjust your back foot so you lift up the heel coming into a lunge shape. We're coming into a prayer twist, hands to heart, twist to your right. So left elbow is resting on the right knee. I always like to offer um, more of a core version. If that's too much twist, then you're just hovering, keeping the integrity of your spine into the twist. If you'd like to open your wings with arms wide, just an option, two more breaths. Nice job, hands on the mat. Plant your back heel and we've got skandasana. Tiptoe hands to your left foot, bend into that knee. Yeah, just a moment to wave side to side. The image I love for this transition is Magna Doodle. So kids toy very much about the temporary nature of manifestation. So, and now it's all fresh and clear. <laughs> Come around your right foot, enjoy a flow, or just meet us in down dog. Left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to right elbow. So we're staying in that challenging shape, knee to one elbow and then the other. Yeah, and extra challenge is minimal offset in your hips. So the left hip stays pretty much as high as your right. Nice job. Yeah, lift your hips and set your left foot. Warrior one. Ground the back heel as you rise. Exhale, W your arms. Lengthen your arms. We'll take that palm stretch and experiment with the rotation of your palm if you want to face it up and back slightly, forward and down. See what feels like a good stretch as you reach out through the fingertips. Great, lengthen front leg, get ready for the pyramid. Hands behind back with a strange thumb on top. Breathe in, lift your spine. 
breathe out into pyramid, Parjvottanasana. All of the standing poses build strength through feet and ankles. So if you get tiny wobbles, that is part of developing balance and the core muscles in these joints. Yeah, in touch with your heart center through the next transition. Bend left knee, hands to mat. Lift your back heel as you set up lunge. Take a prayer twist when you're ready. Hands to heart as you twist to your left. Keep lunging into the front knee and lots of strength through the back foot. Sometimes this pose can be all front body heavy. So we're lengthening the back knee and reaching back through that heel. Remember we have the hovering version if you prefer that for your spine. Arms could open. Nice job. One more breath in. Exhale down to the mat. A moment to flow or rest. Next transition, we're just gonna meet up lying down on your belly. Create a pillow with your hands and either forehead on the hands or turn your head to one side as you rest. And drink your breath down through the lower lungs. For a little wing, take your right arm out into the cactus shape. So the palm is facing down. Left hand is much like cobra beside your chest. Slide right fingers forward an inch and then roll onto your right side any amount. So a deep pec stretch. A lot of you guys know what I say in this pose lately. Um, Let's target our chest muscles and not worry about something special happening with your legs. That's very nice if you wish to do something, um, but don't lose sight of that deep um, front chest muscle stretch. During the pose, you may choose to roll down to your belly again and then reposition the right arm to target a different part of the muscle. So we've got a few more breaths, allowing the pecs to open. Oh, you know what feels great? <laughs> Roll halfway out so you're still in the pose and then push your forearm and palm into the mat. Yeah, so then we're engaging those muscles Nice, and then you soften that press and roll back into the stretch. Yeah, contract, relax, stretching. Great, so we're gonna come out gently. Be kind to your new shoulder, take it easy. And then position your left arm. Cactus shape with the palm on the mat. Right hand is shaped like cobra pose. Slide left fingertips forward an inch and roll over to your left side. It's a great pose to weave your subtle breath awareness in with the physical stretch. With attention in the heart center, the feel Feel and be. At any point, you may like to roll out and just reposition very slightly your left arm to come back in for a different dimension of stretch.
for the contract relax component. Come out of the stretch 50% and root down your right arm. Press that elbow, forearm, and palm into the mat. Yeah, nice. And then soften and reposition. Come back into the stretch and see if it had any effect. Nice job. Unroll to your belly. Plant your forearms into the Sphinx pose. Proud heart. Ground your elbows and shine the heart center forward. Slight nod in the chin so your chin is level to the floor as you lift up through the back of your head and crown. A great pose for um, restoring posture. And for uh, many spinal disc injuries, this is a remedy. Option for a neck roll, chin to chest, and then roll your chin toward one shoulder. We're gonna do like a half circle roll. So just chin to chest, chin to shoulder, and then chin to chest. Nice job. Release your elbows and your choice to take a flow or relax in child's pose. Nice, we'll take one more standing sequence. Let's meet together in down dog. Stretch the right leg back for three-legged. Step forward, creating your lunge. Rise up. So we're staying up on the tiptoes of the back foot. Reach your arms down in that capital letter A position. And we'll be coming into balance for the dancer pose. Walk the back foot toward the front as you stand tall on the front leg. So standing back bend, arms reach back. Leg reaches back. We've been calling this one the unbound dancer, where you're, you just keep lifting your heart, keep reaching back through the limb. If you wish to bind, left hand can hold the outer left ankle as you kick foot to hand, shining the heart forward. And we'll be breathing in the dancer. Cosmic dancer, Shiva Nataraj. Nice job. Slowly come out, standing in mountain pose. Balance onto your right foot once again and come into a figure four chair. Cross left ankle on the right knee as you sit down and back. So options to be in this uh, chair shape in your torso. There's also an option to fold forward. You can kind of hook your elbows under your shin. Yeah, there are arm balance options. I'll just let you explore if that's in your practice. Slowly retrace your steps, come up to standing and step left foot all the way to the back of the mat. <laughs> Bend and straighten into your right knee. And just checking in with foot position. Right toes are facing the short edge of the mat. Left toes facing long edge. Maybe slight pigeon toe on the left foot shape. Extended side angle, forearm on the thigh, arm reaches up. If you'd like to add a bind, we'll take top arm out to the side, rotate the thumb down, and then put that hand in your right back pocket. So that's our half bind. If you wanna do a full bind, drop your right elbow and clasp hands, or just reach for each other, <laughs> reach for the hands behind your back. 
keep lunging into the front knee and anchor your back foot to help open up your spine. Nice, so we're gonna take that magna doodle, just touch the mat, walk your hands around to the back foot and just side to side, letting that go. Maybe you shake out your head and neck. Yeah, let's switch sides, come around the right foot, step back to downward dog and connect with your breath. Left leg back for three-legged. Exhale, step forward. Stay up on the back tiptoes, rise up. Arms wide, we're coming for the dancer. For balance, I like to think we're we're always building from the foundation up. It's rare that you just jump and you balance. <laughs> so really take your time to position yourself over your foundation. Right leg is kicking back, standing back bend, heart opens, shoulders, arms reach back. Breath is flowing. Somehow I was picturing the scene from Titanic. Maybe that's inspiring or just makes you laugh. Yeah, if you wish to bind, just an option. Bend right knee, right hand, clasp the ankle. Left arm could reach up while you kick foot to hand, pull hand to foot to shine the heart forward. Two more breaths. Nice job. Simply stand in Tadasana. Plant both feet. Figure four chair. Left foot will be the foundation. Cross right ankle on left knee as you sit back. Hands could be in prayer position. A little flex in right ankle helps to support that knee joint as you lower down. 10% cobra in your spine helps to minimize um, rounding in your back, targeting more core support. If you'd like to lower further, elbows underneath the shin bone as hips sink down and you deepen the knee bend. Nice job. Finish your exhale where you are. Inhale, rise up slowly. Swing right leg back. And we're taking that wide stance. A moment to set your feet for the side angle. Bend and straighten into your left knee. We have the knee track, same direction as the toes. And just a little side note, I'm more a fan of adjusting foot to match knee trajectory um, than having the knee match the foot. I find that to be um, kindest to the knee joint. So if the knee bends more inward, then you can rotate your foot more inward. Side angle as you're ready, lunge deeply into the left knee and just really trust your strength. A little shaking indicates that you're building muscle. If you like to take the bind, right arm out, rotate, thumb down, palm back, right hand into left back pocket for half bind. Connected with your breath, if you dive in for full bind, left arm underneath that thigh, my PSA is always that the bind is not a thong. <laughs> so you're bringing the bind off to the side of your glutes. In this case, we're off to the left side of the glutes. Yeah, plant the back foot, reach your heart, get longer and get lighter with your breath. Nice, touch the mat and just a little magna doodle as we wind down. Side to side, really soft in your spine. Walk hands to left footprint, 
rotate feet to short edge of mat. And we've got one more flow. Tap knees down and just take a comfortable seat. I wanted to offer kind of a unique inversion that's also hip opening. It's the figure four dolphin. So just come along with me and if it ever doesn't make sense, you can just take a look at the screen and see what's going on. Start out in table and this is the pigeon fake out. Right knee toward the right wrist. Get the right foot in front of the left knee and then walk your knees so they're more next door neighbors. Yeah. If, you, if it feels right for your knee, you might lift the right foot higher up the right hip crease and shift forward and back. Always an option to add padding under your knees if this is a little much. Nice, take your elbows to the mat, interlace hands together, root your elbows, tuck left toes under, and then lift your hips like dolphin or downward dog. And so we'll just be floating in this shape. The left leg goes more straight as the weight of the right knee, the weight of the right foot presses on that thigh. Elbows leverage into earth as your spine gets longer and lighter. Two more breaths. Nice job. To come out, bend left knee, bring it to the mat. Yeah, and we'll just uh, tabletop the hands, unthread your right leg. Yeah, and before second side, maybe you like to swivel your hips, take a cat and cow, or get off the knees a little bit <laughs> if it's a lot on your knees. Left side, so pigeon fake out to start. Left knee toward left wrist, left ankle in front of right knee. And that's our figure four shape. Left knee might slide slightly back to open that hip. If you would like to take more of a half lotus shape in the legs, use your right hand to lift the ankle higher up the right thigh. Yeah, and just come forward and back. Hands could walk forward if you wish. <laughs> it is one of those poses I always have to be like, is that my left foot? Which foot is it? <laughs> nice. A little bit of a mind scramble, which is good for us. Elbows to mat, weave your hands together and rise up when you're ready. Curl right toes under and lift the hips, straighten the right leg. So the right leg is gonna go very straight. And it's okay if you have to use a little mind glue to keep your left leg in position. Shake out head and neck and get your breath low and wide through the center of your body. One more breath here. Great job. Right knee to earth. Tabletop your hands. Unthread your leg. Go ahead and have a seat. Hmm. We're gonna take the wheel of life next. Um, I'll just face the camera so you can see. Uh, whatever makes sense for your pose in your space. Let's get feet onto the mat. Knees are bent. Lean back on your hands and start to windshield wiper your knees. Swivel knees all the way to your left and begin to walk hands around. 
So hands are gonna come as far, kind of a spiral movement, as far around the left side as you'd like. You may wish to lower down onto your forearms. If you have that cushion handy, sometimes it's a great pose just to cuddle up a little bit. <laughs> Get some padding underneath you so you can soften. If your head is looking to the right, that is a moderate twist. If you want something more intense, try your head rotated to the left. Another breath to soften in the pose. Plant your palms and take it onto the other side. Swivel the knees, walk your hands around and find a, it's like a lifting, lengthening. My, I like to visualize the DNA spiral <laughs> moving through the spine. Hands could walk further behind you, as much of a twist as you'd like. At some point you might release to your elbows or grab a prop to lay down on. If you experimented with your twist, go right ahead and adjust the direction of your gaze. opportunity to soften, to receive whatever breath your body creates right now. Plant hands and ease out of the pose. If you want to take a, a little more hip movement. Next pose is the seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Stretch to the west. Find a long spine. I just have a cushion um, which can feel nice folding forward if you'd like. Just a time check, I'm taking us close to the hour here. We're about two minutes to the hour. Um, just in case you have something coming up and you need to transition. It's up to you when this pose feels complete. Next, we'll simply be relaxing in Shavasana. And of course, if there are other movements you'd like to take to rebalance, go right ahead. I'll be taking us just about five minutes past the hour. Um, just a heads up. If you'd like to add layers of warmth, go right ahead. Make sure you're comfortable. And soften forehead and soften the center of the brain. Swallow gently, relaxing in the throat. Let your attention rest in the heart space.
in this place where we truly replenish the seat of consciousness. And it really is a portal to universal consciousness, a place where our small self can release any cares, any, anything that feels limiting. You just find a deep release, like, a, like being in a safe ocean, this cosmic ocean. Let yourself relax and receive. Gently wake up your body. Breathe deeper. Explore a little movement. And your sense of touch, roll the thumb across finger pads. Walk your legs closer together and brush your feet along opposite leg. One foot at a time, just waking up the sensitivity of your feet. Stretch arms overhead. Transition slowly to your side with bent knees and then rise up to take a comfortable seat. Bring one palm to the heart center. If you'd like to place other hand on top. Consider the treasures of your practice, both today and in the big picture, your lifelong relationship with yoga. And with a deep appreciation of these treasures, we cultivate the sense of service to pay it forward, offering kindness and compassion and service to the people in our lives. Thank you so much for practicing today. Namaste.